whole apprenticeship program came about because they wanted to start an engineering academy and it was talked about and talked about and they set up committees and the committees couldn't figure out what they wanted to do and how they wanted to do it um, and then during the 2010 year they brought in a different teacher because I didn't actually start the academy it was started by a different teacher who was teaching at the school at the time and um, she was presented the idea, she was a brand new teacher, presented the idea from administration and um, she decided that she liked it, she decided to go with it and she ran the program for around two years before she left and went to a different district so she never actually got to the apprenticeship program. She started out with some ninth graders in what they deemed or called Engineering Academy and um, got them to their sophomore year before she left and then another teacher took over and ran it for a year two years and she did successfully have some apprentices that that were uh, seniors but it wasn't the same kind of situation as it is right now they went out and found something and picked it and I, I wasn't involved in it that much then so I really can't give you much more information on that I had taken over Engineering Academy when, when we had another teacher that was teaching engineering and um, so the students um, and parents weren't super happy with what was going on in the academy and so they, I had been teaching CAD and architecture and the administration at the time came to me and said, would you mind taking our ninth grade engineering kids next year? And you know. Um, I was excited about it, so I said, sure, yeah, that'd be great. I'd like to love the opportunity. Um, I said, what do you guys have going on? And they said, well, we really don't have a set in stone curriculum because no one had actually put anything really down on paper, you know, as far as what they were doing. So I spent the summer designing the curriculum for the ninth grade class, um, you know, excited for them to come in. And the teacher that was here at the time kept the um, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, but he didn't um, ever place them, you know, so they never did an internship under him. Um, so the first year I ran it, um, it ran, went pretty well, and the students seemed to be pretty happy, and the parents were, were um, happy with what was going on, and um, the administration liked the results, you know, that I was getting, and so they asked me to take the bulk of the rest of the classes the following year. And the teacher who was teaching it um, ended up left, ended up leaving the district. So what ended up happening, how we got to the internship was, I took those classes over, um, and when once I did that, then I had to find an internship. So I, I knew I was taking the classes over, and the, and the seniors would be coming in the next year, and I really um, wanted to do something neat, but you know, um, I had like 23 kids or so that were going to be placed, 23 students. And I needed to find some place that would, you know, work with work for them. And I happened to reach out for our advisory committee. Um, when you're running CTE classes, you have to teach um, advisory. You know, you have to have advisory committees. Sorry, teach. No, you have to have advisory committees based on community people that come in and, and look at your program and talk to you about, you know, where they think the best avenue to for you to go, how you would do, you know, how they think certain things could be implemented and during this meeting I was talking to um, some of our members about the internship and how I was excited about it and how I was wondering what I was going to do because this was our uh, we have two meetings a year and this was our spring meeting so it was the year before I would be starting this and one of my members said well you know I work at Oakland University and um, I think that this would be something that the people over there may be interested in if you would be willing to you know come talk to them about it and so I was said sure I was excited so I went over and talked to the Dean of Engineering at Oakland University and uh, he got excited and said well I, I, I like this idea but I want to call pull some of my um, my staff members in to make sure that they're all on board and he pulled in three or four of his staff members and you know we presented the idea again and they all seemed to like it so that's basically how it started our first year um, I had some students that found their own internships because they were more interested in working for industry, but then uh, the bulk of the students attended Oakland University and um, 
worked with the professors and um, businesses that Oakland caters to. And then Lawrence Tech got involved after that? Lawrence Tech came in because Lawrence Tech does a lot for the school. That's why we have an LTU hub in the back of the school. Okay, so Lawrence Tech and, and West Bloomfield kind of have partnered for a little while. Um, and they were in, you know, going through the different areas in the, in the school and um, the principal at the time happened to bring them in to talk to me. And I mentioned um, the internship and how things were going and what was going on. And one of the professors reached out to me later that day and said, you know, we're interested in hearing more about this opportunity that you're doing with these students. And um, we'd like to, um, if possible, you know, become a participant in this program. And so I ended up talking to one of the professors out at LTU, um, Dr. Dr. Celine Arslan. You know, I don't know if you want me to mention names or not, but that's who I basically um, got, you know, was put in contact with, and her and I discussed what was going on, and, and she liked everything that she heard, and I liked what LTU had to offer, and it was actually a little closer for our students, so um, we ended up getting the ball rolling, and that was about five years ago. to strengthen my organization skills. I enjoy being a leader in the team um, for business. I've gotten to create a lot of connections in the team and out and talking to people is like one of my favorite things. So being able to do outreach activities like that is just really strengthened my love for the team. So. Okay, um, the robotics team has uh, affected me by just being a community I can lean on. I mean, it's given me tons of opportunities to do what I want and, you know, explore what I'm interested in. So, so these last few years for robotics, I've basically been able to, like, develop my coding skills. I have a huge passion for coding, and thanks to robotics, I've got even, like, I've got extra practice with coding, and I've got a lot better at 